Hi there and welcome to this video where I present the most profitable algorithmic trading strategy I found. When I tested this algorithm it produced simply unbelievable results straight out of the box and I must tell you that I simply cannot wait to test this strategy out in dry run mode. So let me quickly show you how this algorithm works. This spot trading strategy is called the Obelisk Ichimuko Zema and was found in this GitHub repository, owned by Brooke Miles. It is one of his experimental strategies, so we should be aware of this fact. However, even though this is an experimental idea, it produced the best overall backtest results ever. So if you ever want to use this code for your own trading bot, then please give Mr. Miles its credits where credits are due. Let's take a closer look at the code to determine what the general idea is behind this algorithm and test it on my setup. The code starts with the definition of the SSL ATR. It uses a primary time frame of 5 minutes for trading signals and an informative time frame of 1 hour for additional context. The startup candle count determines that the first 500 candles will not be used. That's because the Ichimoku cloud indicator cannot be built with less than 500 candles. The algo uses a set of different timestamps where profits are realized if it reaches the defined percentages here. And the stop loss here has been set to exit the trade at almost 30% loss, which is quite large but also understandable since at these low time frames there could be large swings to the downside before rising into profitable areas again, letting the trade breathe. Then there is a part where we can see that the strategy is also able to be optimized. And next there is a function where the slow indicators are defined for this algo. The Ichimoku cloud is defined here as well as the ATR, SSL and trend determination indicators. Interestingly, in this small portion of the code you can see that the conditions for the positive and negative Ichimoku cloud are consolidated into signals that have certain values, which will be used later to determine the buy signals. That's also the case with this section where the exit conditions are defined. Notice here that the author did not use any binary signals but used different numbers to indicate a certain market status and signal type. There is also a function where the fast time frame indicators are defined, like the Zima indicator, and derived buy and sell signals. With this function the data frame will be filled with the conditions with data for faster time frames. In the following section the indicators for the strategies are defined. There is a check to see if this strategy is actually running on the 5 minute time frame. That's why I only could test this uh, time frame on the backtesting engine. And then there will be a merge of the informative data with the actual trading data for actual signals. This leads to a final data frame that will be used for trading. The next section determines the buy and sell settings. And in these rules there will be a buy signal when the Ichimoku cloud has a value of higher than zero, there is no bear trending and the close price is higher than the Zima times an offset value. Next to the configured ROI and stop loss there is only one exit signal defined here and that is when the close price is above the Zima indicator multiplied by a high offset value. And finally in this section the author of the code was so friendly enough to add us some code which we can use to plot the indicators and signals and I will show you later how this will look. So with all this information in the back of our heads, let's start with presenting the backtest results of this algorithm on the 5 minute time frame. And as you might have guessed from my enthusiasm in the intro, I was very much uh, pleasantly surprised about this algo's performance. As you might already know, I always test under the same circumstances with each different backtesting strategy with the same pairs, time range and other backtesting engine settings. And comparing with the other strategies I tested, this algorithm performed just way off the charts. According to the backtest, this strategy has a 66% win rate and got away with a staggering profit amount. That amount has an influence on the CHR and Calma ratio too, which are both very high. Also the Sortino and Sharp ratio have very optimistic ratios too, and with a drawdown of only slightly less than 18%, it keeps the earned gains in your account too. The weekly performance chart shows that this algo reacts very well to bull market conditions, but in the meantime it also keeps a lid on the funds when bearish circumstances dominate the market. 
keeping your profits in your pocket. The curve is not so much parabolic after last year's bull market high, but there is still an incline in funds, albeit not as steep. And if I compare this performance with the other trading algorithms, then we can clearly see that uh, just as with the alligator strategy, it responds very well to bull markets. Uh, but when markets decline, this algo has an edge to still manage to make profits. A truly admirable feature that I surely will investigate further in my spare time and hopefully can apply to my other future algos as well. Taking a closer look at what makes this performance so high, we can see here that the algo was particularly good in catching pumps of very popular coins during the last bull market, like Shiba Inu, Mana, Q&T, Phantom and others. Also, the exit reasons indicate that the exit signal is the one that provides the best exits. This implies that there could be some improvements in the ROI signal with hyperparameter optimization, but I will not do that since I am very content with the current settings and I could break this by over-optimizing things. Taking a closer look at the plot of Shiba Inu, we can now see more clearly what the intentions are of the author. There are 6 additional indicators added to the chart that will be a combination for creating the actual buy and sell signals. Zooming in even further, we can now see better the indicators of the Ichimoku cloud, like Tenken and Kijun Sen, and the cloud itself. The subplots show us very well how the signals are built up, and you can see that the individual indicators get a score that add up to a certain value, like the trend value in this chart to give you a clear example. It gets green and a value of 4 to indicate that Ichimoku detects a bullish trend. Other subplots then create the additional signals for the bot to buy or to sell. And as said, I will definitely investigate this algorithm further to learn what makes it gives its edge. Another thing I would like to add here is that I started to forward test this algo on one of my testing environments. And after running it for a couple of days or so, I already had a nice hypothetical profit. At the moment the win rate is around 60% with an expectancy of 2.39, with an average profit of around 0.5%. So I will leave this bot running in dry mode for the next couple of weeks and see how its performance will be under real market circumstances. Which brings me to the plots of the scores of the performance indicators I use for this algorithm. And I'm not telling you something new here I think, almost all scores are top notch with clear outliers in the profit percentage, CHR and Kalma ratio. Bringing me to the last section of this video, which is its place in the strategy leak. And you might already guessed it, it ends up way above in the top spot of this leak, with almost 100 points difference to the second spot I found last time with the SMA offset strategy. Now it is clear that this obelisk strategy will be hard to beat in the coming periods, but I will try to develop or find one that is even better. So stay definitely tuned to my channel to see what will happen in the next year. And in the meantime, this is it for this video. As always, all files, outputs, backtest results, charts, plots and more are available on my Patreon site for my patrons. And many thanks for supporting me. Now if you like this and my other videos, then please subscribe, give a thumbs up and a comment if you like to see me test another specific algorithm. Also, please be careful and remember that this video contains backtests in a controlled environment and that you should always do your own research before using anything I show in these videos. But for now, this is the end and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!